Hello guys, here is Ahmed and we continue our optimization course. In this video, I will give you the solution for some problems, the introductory problems in the previous video. We will start with the problem one, where we considered a farming example. I put the problem just for revision. So the solution for this problem, this farming example, is the following we want to maximize this cost function or this profit function subject to these constraints less than 100 and the, this second constraint less than 20 and xb plus xw less than 5 XB is the area assigned to barley and XW is the area assigned to wheat. So this is the solution for the farming problem. For problem 2 which was about a production example so we want to produce two types of products the solution of this production example is the following so we want to take x, the number of produced units of the first product and per day and x2 is the number of produced units of the second product per day. So our target is to maximize the objective function which is given by this f 3 times x1 plus 5 x2 where x1 is between 75 and 150 and x2 is between 50 and 100 we will take the shipments constraints so x1 plus x2 is greater than 200 we can write it in this matrix form with this C is the coefficients of the objective function and X is the vector of decision variables X1 and X2 subject to the constraints here we will write X1 less than 150 and minus X1 is less than minus 75 and so on we can take X positive for problem 3 Problem 3 is about generating power generating example. The solution of this problem is to minimize this cost function depending on x1, x2, x3, and x4. x1 and x2 are the quantities of the first type of coal used in both stations in tons of course x3 and x4 the quantities of the second type of coal used in both stations in tons also the constraints so subject to these two equations less than four, minus 40 and this one less than minus 80 where x is positive the solution of problem 4 which is given here is to draw the feasible set of this problem as you see this is the feasible set of the problem it is this triangle or this hyperplane so we can draw the lines and we get this feasible set for problem 5 it was a tricky problem what is the minimum of x subject to x greater strictly greater than 1 in fact it, there is no solution because the constraint is infeasible if it is greater or equal we can find a solution thank you for watching for more information please see the description bye bye